Cupping therapy. When can I shower or swim? Hello there. Today, we're going to delve into the world of cupping therapy and answer a common question. How long after cupping therapy should I wait before showering or swimming? It's a topic that may seem simple, but there are a few crucial considerations to keep in mind. What is cupping therapy? Cupping therapy is an ancient form of alternative medicine. It involves a therapist putting special cups on your skin to create suction. People seek out this therapy for many reasons, including to help with pain, inflammation, blood flow, relaxation and well-being, and as a type of deep tissue massage. The right time to shower or swim after cupping. After undergoing a cupping therapy session, it's generally recommended to wait at least four to six hours before showering, bathing, or swimming. This is because your pores open during the cupping process, and the body needs time to normalize and close these pores. Showering or swimming immediately after cupping can expose your skin to harsh chemicals in soaps or pool water, or sudden temperature changes, which may lead to irritation or other potential skin issues. So, it's best to give your skin time to recover. What about physical activities? As with showering and swimming, it's recommended to avoid vigorous physical activities for a few hours after cupping therapy. Overexertion can strain muscles that have been relaxed during the treatment and possibly reduce the therapeutic benefits. Protecting your skin after cupping. Post cupping, it's also essential to keep your skin protected. Wear loose clothing and avoid direct sunlight exposure for at least 24 hours. Staying hydrated and eating healthily will also aid in faster recovery. And that wraps up our discussion. Remember to wait at least four to six hours after cupping therapy before showering, swimming, or engaging in vigorous physical activities. Also, do take care of your skin and overall health after the therapy. We hope this video has been helpful, and as always, do consult your therapist or healthcare provider for personalized advice. Stay healthy, and see you in the next video.